to say the threat of court bail going into administration is worrying hardly covers it. But the owner has said that's what's going to happen if we don't have a buyer in place by May 5th and so we fans have to hope this can be sorted out. It raises all sorts of questions, not least will the club and the ground be sold as one? They are split at the moment, but owned by Norman Smirthwaite under different businesses. But what if just the football business goes into administration, or is sold separately from the ground? As I see it, that would store up lots of problems for the future. I just can't see why anyone would buy the football club without the ground because we have seen in so many cases the problems that come when the two are separated. Port Bales Roy of the Rovers Tom Pope celebrated in football art Coventry are just the latest. They had to play at Northampton a few years ago and, as it stands, they don't know where they are going to be playing their home games next season. Personally, I would like the EFL to take a stand on this and say clubs can't be split from their grounds. Burslem, England, in November 11th, a general view of Ale Park before the FA Cup first round match between Port Vale and Sunderland on November 11th, 2018 in Burslem, England. Photo by Ian Horrocks, Sunderland AFC via Getty Images While we wait anxiously to see what happens off the pitch, things are looking a lot brighter on it after that win at Northampton on Saturday put us 8 points clear of the bottom two. I don't think we are safe yet, but I am certainly feeling a lot better about our prospects than a few weeks ago thanks to the job John Eski and the players have done. Port Vale considering a red and white away kit. You're kidding. In fact, a few weeks ago fans were worried whether John was the right man for the job, now we're worried we'll lose him to another club because he's out of contract in the summer. I suppose that's a glass half empty way of looking at things, but I'd sooner be worrying about that than whether we are staying in the football league. Reasons to be cheerful just lately include Tom Pope reaching 100 goals for the Vale with his winner at Northampton. Tom Pope applauds Port Vale fans after the 2-2-1 win at Northampton It's a great achievement in its own right but the fact Tom is a Vale fan and grew up with Martin Foyle as his hero makes it all the more special. I mean, how many clubs can say they have a genuine lifelong fan who has achieved what Tom has as a player? I hope he is very proud because we Vale fans are proud of him.